Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys a few different methods on how you can take data from different sheets in Excel and combine them into one sheet. So let's say you have a workbook that has 10 sheets and you have data that you wanna to combine to one sheet. That's what we're gonna show you in this video. Before we get started, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Guys, so we have a spreadsheet here. I actually generated this with completely random and fake information. But let's go ahead and pretend that these are orders on Indigo software. We have orders specific for each product and their order ID. We have the quantity, the price, and the region. And I actually have three separate sheets containing this data. I wanna merge that all into one sheet. In the first method, we're gonna use the Power Query Editor. All right, guys, so the first step that we're gonna do here is we're gonna to go to the Data tab and we're gonna click from table slash range. It's important to have a cell selected before you open Power Query Editor that is not either one of these labels or somewhere else random on your worksheet. So make sure it's a part of the data. With this data selected, I'll hit close and load. Okay, once we're inside of the Power Query Editor, we're gonna see that we already have two applied steps. I'm clicking back to the source step here and we want the function here, excel.currentworkbook. So I'm just gonna delete the rest of that and we'll hit enter. Next up, let's go ahead and expand this content by hitting this button here. And we're gonna uncheck using the original column name as prefix and I'll hit okay. And we'll click insert. And as we can see, all of that data is now consolidated and combined into one list. And if I want, I could go ahead and hit close and load. And this is going to load it to a new sheet here, again, with all of the data in one place. Now I'm gonna show you guys another quick method to do this if you don't want to use Power Query Editor or if you just have a small amount of data. I'm gonna name this new sheet all data. All right, and then let's just drag that to the very front here. And basically I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna select the table manually and I'll do Control C to copy it. And we'll go back to our data page and we'll paste that in. Let's repeat that for sheet two and three. But in this case, I'm only going to select the values and not the columns. So we'll paste that. I'll go to sheet three and I'll paste that as well. And to make sure we didn't miss anything, we can go ahead and count how many we're supposed to have. And we'll just make sure. In this case, we have 15 rows of data. Here we have five. Here we have five, here we have five. So we have all of the data combined and merged on our new sheet. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over in this video, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have an idea that you'd like to see covered, we strongly encourage you to drop that in the comments below as well. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.